What kit to take on a multi-day ride? Here's what I used on the Murray Gravel Triangle. In the last three videos, Sean and I rode three long-distance walkers routes, which came together into a fabulous off-road tour. We were staying in hotels, courtesy of Visit Murray and Speyside, so we didn't need camping kit. Oh, I'm filming you filming me! But we are filming this, so that means more stuff than I'd normally take. I thought I'd share what I carried on this ride. So the first night seems a good night to do it because everything's nice and clean and dry. That is my camera and drone, uh, spare batteries, all that kind of stuff, drone controller. Everything that was in the rear pack, that's my personal kit, and I'm gonna set these all out on the bed and go through exactly what it is I take. Here's the filming kit. Mavic Mini drone, spare props, and controller in a box. Alongside that, a GoPro 9 on a mini tripod, plus an extendable GoPro arm. Above them, a spare tripod. This is the audio recorder and microphone, a spare GoPro in the orange bag, and over here, spare micro SD cards and batteries for the drone and GoPro. All of which fits in the front Alp kit bag, inside dry bags. I don't think this model is in their current range. I accidentally lightened my load with this shot. My drone crashed into the sea cliff, then rolled and bounced down, never to be seen again. One of the best bits of kit I have for traveling light and staying in hotels and bed and breakfasts is this pair of long trousers. I prefer long trousers for an evening because it's good to get out of the shorts, actually, because they should be drying. More on that in a moment. Um, and long trousers just help you fit in a bit more. These are actually not trousers, they're tracksuit bottoms by Pearl Azumi, and they weigh, uh, I guess it's about 100 grams, maybe a little more, and they work down to nothing. There's no bolt to them. They wouldn't actually work very well as outdoor trousers. You wouldn't get any protection. But for this sort of thing, they're ideal. If you're sure you can shower each night, you probably need only one pair of shorts, which you wash in the shower with whatever soap you have to hand. Rinse fully to get out all of the soap. That is very important. Wring them out, wrap in a towel, and wring them out again and again until they're almost dry, then find a radiator to leave them on while you eat. But please, get the soap out. Hey! So this is me using soap to wash my kit overnight and not getting all the soap out. I'm foaming at the knees. Hope for nowhere else. Let that be a lesson to you. Get the soap out. <laughs> oh, God. I realise ultra-endurance cyclists carry far less, but they're spending longer on the bike and less time relaxing. For me, this is fun, so by comparison, I'm carrying too much. In my defence, I was expecting epic bad weather with mud and grit. So let's start with what I'm wearing most days. Watch, face covering and wallet with shoes below. Gore-Tex jacket, gloves and shorts a windproof merino jersey and a base layer with my new Giro helmet, cap and snood, heart rate strap and glasses. All of that is on me. Now to the contents of this rear pack, and some people don't believe how much I fit in here, but this is real. First aid kit, guidebook and reading glasses. Bike lights, toiletries, spare shorts and knee warmers. Charging kit, a Garmin Edge and a TheraBand. Waterproof socks and non-slip yoga socks for indoors, two pair of merino socks, a spare base layer on top of a down body warmer which can be used on the bike, one pair of briefs, and finally those lightweight tracksuit bottoms. So that's what works for me even in fairly rough conditions. I'm not saying it will work for you, but at least it's a starting point for your thoughts. If you found this helpful, if you've enjoyed it, take a look around the channel, you might find more you like. If you can give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be fantastic. See you again next time.